Hello and good morning. Friday the 20th of June 2019. Time 0642 hours British summer time. A bit grey at the moment. But all ready to, well, go that way. Okay, here's the plan. Costa, Spoons, train station to Ledbury. Ledbury? Ledlow. I don't know what I'm talking about. Preloading with vitamin C, the King's Feet in Hereford. For the carpet for Mr. Manning, whose birthday it is today. The start of the Ludlow pub log. This is Hereford Station and it's, it's quite big. Anyway, platform three, 20 minutes or so, and then um, we shall see. Well, bit of a shocker. At the end of the road with our cars just turning, that's the station and and it open. It's 25 past 10. I'm gonna have a quick one. Well, here's a complete then at the turn up for the box. A real life brewery. The free Wi-Fi. Um, this is Lovelo Blonde, 4% alcohol by volume. Real flooring, Mr. Manning. This is. Can have one or two here. Mm. Sweet. Yeah, a little bit sweet. Nicely malty. Nice bit of bitterness in it as well. Nicely balanced. B plus in a bit. It smells, it smells like a working brewery. So, ring in Ludlow or Rome, drink a vice beer. Napoli Cloudy Triple Hopped Vice Beer by Ludlow Brewery, 4.4% alcohol by volume. Really good here. And it's close to the station, so I can wait for the trains. Mm. Sharp. Slightly lemony, bubble gummy. Nice bit of finish. B plus in a bit. There's the sign. And um, the entrance. There it is down there. Proper flooring, Mr. Man. God, look at that. Anyway, the beer. Jewels. The pale ale, 4.1% alcohol by volume. I think halves, I could probably go the length of the bar. Actually, they've got a menu. There could be a bit of pub grub coming up here as well. There is LTE and there is Wi Fi. Mm. A little bit malty, a little bit sweet. I'm afraid a little bit ordinary. But, you know, that's what you do. Number two, Slumbering Mink by Jules. Also by Jules, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Might have food, definitely might have food. And there's a bee garden out back. Mmm, that is rich. Malty, slightly sweet. Nice one. B plus in a bit. Jules Royal Ale at 4.5% alcohol by volume. And yes, we have food, lunch on order, ham eggs and chips. Which is like bacon and eggs with chips. Anyway, <coughs> love this part. Wow, I'm getting malty, I'm getting a lot of citrus, fruitiness, a little bit sharp, a little bit bitter, that's B plus in a bit as well. Hats off to these jewels boys, traditional with a little bit of um, happiness. The church, home to the little of Brewing, is their tap, I think. Anyway, quick one, and then move on. 
I think, I do think it's the app for the Ludlow Brewery. However, I'm very impressed by Hodgson's 3.8% alcohol by volume, and it is local. It's from Tilbury Mortimer, which is top shop. Malty and maybe a hint of nuttiness. D plus. The door is open yet it says they're closed. In a row. Who knows? Anyway, if not, it'd be a house. It's a long story. Artisanal ales. I saw this sign which they hadn't put up, up outside that said Friday 12 till. I can't remember, but it was 12 to something. And then this guy came and opened the door and he said, we don't want to go for Micros. And then I went to the station, because it's about 10 minutes away, and the next train is 20 past three. It's just gone 20 past two. So back to Ludlow. Or the Ludlow Brewing Co, more correctly. And this is Ludlow Gold, and it's 4.2% alcohol by volume. And it's fruity, malty. Yeah, very fruity actually. And gently bitter. B plus in a bit.